Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Welcome everybody to today's lesson. Jazakumullah for arriving on time. I understand and I know that there are um, less students today. That's not a problem. Inshallah, we'll continue. Um, and inshallah, as people join, we can add them to the class. Please make sure that your um, IDs are written correctly. Otherwise, you will not be called to the mic and you be, may be put back into the waiting room. So please, everybody, make sure your ideas are written down correctly. Please make sure you have your heads covered, you're in voodoo, and you're in a nice, quiet place in order to recite the Quran today. Okay. Um, in today's lesson, just as we've had in the last few lessons, um, we are focusing, we have no more rules at the moment. We've locked lots and lots of rules. So we're focusing on student-led recitations. That means we want you, the students, to really be trying your hardest, thinking about all the rules you've learned and applying all those rules to the surah that we look at today. Today's surah is surah Ash-Shams, which means the sun, and it's chapter 91 of the Holy Quran. So that for your reference, when you need to look over it and revise it, you can go to chapter 91, surah Ash-Shams, the sun. Okay, so let us start today with our prayer. So if we could have a student for our opening prayer, please. Assalamu alaikum, this is beginning to Excuse me, co-host. Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Excuse me, co-host. Uh, this is the main teacher. G. Assalamu alaikum. Um... I don't know why. Um, hey. any, um, the I don't know. I just got a meeting. You were called what? Sorry, I wasn't called to the mic. I just got a meeting. Oh, okay. It's fine. It's fine. You are a seven three six two. Is that correct? Yes. Brilliant. Okay. So we're going to start today. Um, if you start with Dawood and Tasmiya, and then you will begin with the opening prayer today. Audhu billahi min ash-shaytanir rajim Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Rabbi alimni ma huwa huwa khayrun indaka Okay once more with three Rabb Bi'alimni ma huwa khayrun indak. Rabbi alimni ma huwa khayrun indak. Okay, if we're doing a vakf, you did it correctly, but if we're doing a vakf and we're stopping there, remember this will turn into a schoon, so we'll say indak. Good. Now, can you just pronounce this for me here? Right. Okay. So here you need to make a sharp nasal sound. You don't need to make an elongated nasal sound. So, khayrun. Khayrun. Khayrun indak. Much better. Well done. And the translation, please. Oh, my Lord, teach me what is best for me in your knowledge. Excellent. Jazakumullah. Thank you so much. Brilliant. So, as I said, today we'll be going on and we're going to be looking at our new surah today, which is Surah Ashams. Okay, a new surah for today. We're going to have the students, so that means all of you, are going to be reciting and I will give you feedback as we go along. So normally, or the way that we used to do it in the past was that the teacher would read through or I would read through and then you would follow me. I am still available. If you need help, I'm here to guide you. I'm here to help you in order for you to make sure that you have the best pronunciation and recitation. But we also want to now know how well you're doing, how well you are picking up all the rules. Okay, and remember there are lots of rules we've covered. Thick and thin sounds, qalqala, vakf, okay, with different sounds of similar sounding letters. So you need to think about all of those things, timing, one second, two second elongation. You need to keep all of those things in mind. So that when you are reciting, 
you're looking at all the letters, all the strokes, and you're trying your best to have your best possible participation. Okay, so we are going to have um, another student, please, now to the mic. Okay, and we have N. Okay, we have lots of new students. One second. N8380. Assalamualaikum. N8380. Assalamualaikum. N8380. Is that you? Yeah. Excellent. Good. So, you understand what we're doing today? How we're going to go through this? Yeah. Excellent. Good. So, all we need you to do is we need you to go through, read. You don't need to read fast. You just need to read very, very carefully to make sure that you're making all the sounds that you need to make properly. Okay? So we start with Dawood. A'uzu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Washamsi waduhaha. Very nice. Once more. Washamsi waduhaha. Very nice. Walkamari iza talaha. Very nice. Wannahari iza jallaha. Very good. Wallayli ida yagushaha Wassama iwa ma banaha Good, well done. Very, very nicely read. Okay, we've read the first one twice. We start again from here. Wallqamari ida talaha Very good. Very nice thick sound here. You said the qa, which was really good. People sometimes get... When you're reciting so beautifully and in such a nice flow, making those differentiations between your thick and thin sounds can get quite hard. And you did that really well. Well done. Excellent. Carry on. Okay. Very good. You held on the noon, Gunna, there. So that was good. You made sure you elongated there. Ri was nice and thin. Excellent. Now, make sure that you do not make this into a thick lamb, okay? Once more. Okay, thick lamb is only in the word of Allah, remember? Okay, and where do we have one over here somewhere? I don't know if we do. Uh, here, okay? Wallahi. There we will make that thick. Over here we are not going to make it thick. Okay? okay. Carry on. Next one. Good. First time round when you read that, um, the scene wasn't so clear. That time round it was much, much better. Well done. Once more. Very good. Lovely recitation in 8380. That was really nice, mashallah. Well done. So keep working on that beautiful and uh, melodious tune, which was really nice to hear. It's lovely when we're listening to students and they're, um, they're reciting in such a beautiful melody as well. And that's the whole aim, not only to correct your recitation, but as you progress and as you get better, your melody and your tune improves as you, uh, throughout as well. So well done. Jazakumullah. Thank you so much for your help. Allah Hafiz. Okay, um, if we can have um, another student, please. Uh, discipline in charge, if we can have another student, please. Okay. Um, just a second, I'm just trying to get the discipline in charge mic on.
Okay, A7410. A7410, can you hear me? Yes. Assalamu alaikum, A7410. Assalamu alaikum. Okay, um, so what we're going to do is we're going to read through um, from, we're going to do Tawud and Tasmiya, and then we will read from this dot here, okay? Okay. Okay, excellent. Let's start from here. A'udhu billahi minash rajim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim very nice make sure here we, we've got we had this in the first line as well over here we've got ha which comes from your throat okay and then ha which comes from lower down in your chest okay so try and make sure we get that differentiation there once more وَالْأَرْضِ وَمَا طُحَاهَا طُحَاهَا Two seconds, two seconds. Once more. وَالْأَرْضِ وَمَا طُحَاهَا Very nice, very nice. You're cutting, your sound is cutting a little bit. That was really nice. And I really like your thick sound here. That was really good. Carry on. Once more, I couldn't, um, I couldn't hear you very clearly there. The sound was breaking a little bit. Very nice. And I think that the one thing you did really nicely there, and this is one thing I was going to point out to the students today. Here, you made a very good sound. And here you directly joined it. So there was no gununguna sound because there was no tanveen there. And that's something that sometimes we find very difficult to make that differentiation of sounds when we're reciting. So that was really good. Once more from here. From here, can you see um, can you see my pointer? A seven four one zero. A seven four one zero. Can you hear me? Okay, discipline in charge. Could we have um, another student, please? I think A seven four one zero has um, gone off the okay. mic. We can have A seven three eight zero. A7380. Assalamu alaikum. A7380, can you hear me? I can't unmute him as well. So okay, we can have someone else. N8403. N8403. Assalamu alaikum. N8403, can you hear me? Yes. Assalamu alaikum, how are you? Good, how are you? <coughs> Alhamdulillah, excuse me. <laughs> Alhamdulillah, I'm very well. Jazakumullah for asking. So, we're going to just go through and you're going to start from here because um, the previous uh, student, um, I think their connection, there was some problem with the connection. So, we will start from here after Dawood and Basmiya. Okay? So, if you start here, please. A'udhu billahi minash the Rajin Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Good. Fa al Fa al Hamaha Ujur 
Okay, very good effort. Very good effort. What we need to look at is how long we are pronouncing each letter for. Okay, so the only time we are going to have two seconds are here, um, here, 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 and here. Okay, why are these two seconds? These ones first. Tell me, why is this two seconds? Because it has a fata um, next to the uh, ha. That has a fata, and what's this letter here? An alif. An alif mada. It's a fata next to it before an alif, which makes it an alif mada. So you have to elongate that for two seconds. Okay, same here and same here. What about this? Why are we going to do this for two seconds? Is it because it's a, a, a vowel sakin? It's a vowel sakin, but before the vowel sakin, there is what? What's this? Dhamma. Dhamma. So if you have a dhamma before a vowel sakin, that becomes a vowel madda. So you have to elongate that for two seconds. So that would be fuju, two seconds. Okay. Um, what about this? How long are we going to say this for? Two seconds. Two seconds, good. Ishbaya, it's going to be for two seconds again, right? So what you need to do is all the other letters, you need to keep to one second, okay? And just those ones that I've highlighted are for two seconds. Now, there's one other thing which you need to think about in this verse, and that's this. What's special about these two letters? How are we going to pronounce that? Watak. Watak. Remember, this is qalqala. It's a qaf with a skun. Okay, which means qalqala. We may need to make a jerking sound there. Okay, so you need to keep an eye on that as well. So let's try again from here. Much, much better, much, much better. Now, what we need to do is make sure we keep the single strokes to one second. So, fa. One second. Fa al ha, one second. Ma, one second. Okay. Fa al ha ma ha. Fa al ha ma ha. Good. Very good. So you see how we kept that short and that one short as well? Yeah. Fa al ha ma ha. Fa al ha ma ha. Very good. Fujura. Okay, why did I round in my mouth a little bit there? What's special about this? Does it like, is it a thin letter? Ra is normally a thin letter, but if it has a fata on the top or a dhamma on the top, remember it becomes thick. So it's ra, it's not ra, it's ra. You have to make your mouth round and you have to make a thick sound, okay? Fujura. Fujura. Good. Fujuraha. Fujuraha. Very nice. Well done. So you keep the short letters short and elongate just the long ones. Okay, let's try it once more from here. Really nice qalqala there. Very good. You made a nice jerking sound there. You just need to make sure that you're focusing on keeping these things nice and short. Okay? So I'm going to recite the whole verse once and then you have one more go. Okay? فَأَلْحَمَهَا فُجُورَهَا وَتَقْوَاهَا Off you go. فَأَلْحَمَهَا Okay, very good effort, very good effort. You just need to keep practicing and making sure that you make these short sounds nice and short. Your elongated sounds are really nice. You're, you're elongating them well, but sometimes the short sounds are sounding just as long. So you just need to keep practicing that. Let's move on to the next verse and start from here. قد أفلع من من زق زقها. 
Very nice. You did, you did it really, really nicely. Once more, make sure that you do the qalqala sound here again. Okay, really good um, soft sound here. You made a really nice thin sound on this curve and you didn't make that thick sound. That sometimes happens here. So that was really good. Okay, so make sure here we don't have a jerking sound. The only jerk should be the kalkala letter here. Okay, so قَدْ أَفْلَهَا قَدْ أَفْلَهَا Good. قَدْ أَفْلَهَا مَا زَكَّهَا قَدْ أَفْلَهَا مَا زَكَّهَا Okay, so make sure you don't elongate this ha here. Okay, once more with me. قَدْ أَفْلَهَا مَا زَكَّهَا قد أفلها مو من من زق زقها. Good. So again, just keep working on that. Keep working on making sure the short sounds stay short. Okay. We don't want to elongate them unless they need to be elongated. So we need to keep those to one second. All right. Next verse. Let's start from here. فقد فقد Okay, once more. What's this letter though first before you can do it again? What, is it is it a ha? Well done, you said ja. Okay, it's a ha and after the ha is a alif. An alif. How long will we say this ha for? Two seconds. Two seconds, because this is an alif mother. Okay, you did a nice kalkala there as well. So make sure you focus on your kalkala. And this is a thick qaf as well. So we've got a thick letter here. We've got a thick letter here. Okay, so once more, try that again. Much, much better. Excellent. Very, very good. Much better than the first time around. Okay, now I'm going to recite it. You recite it once after me. وقد خاب من دساها وقد خاب من دساها Very nice, very nice. Excellent. Very, very good effort, N8403. All I want you to do is I really want you to work on making sure you keep your one second sounds to one second. Don't elongate them. What happens often when we're trying to make a nice tune, what happens is that we elongate when we don't need to. So I want you to really, really focus on keeping all your short sounds really short, really short, okay? That way we can hear the difference between your one second sounds and your two second sounds. Your kalkala was really nice. Your thick sounds are really nice. Your thin calf over here was really good as well, okay? So you've made some really, really good sounds there and your pronunciation was very good, but your, your timing you just need to focus on, okay? So just keep okay. practicing that. Jazakumullah, thank you so much for your help. Jazakumullah. Allah Hafiz. Allah Hafiz. Okay, if we could have another student, please. We can have um, A7410. A7410. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. How are you, A7410? Good, how are you? Um, I've already had this book. Oh, you had to go. I think you got um, you got cut off, didn't you? Yes, I think so. Yeah, it's okay. We can read one more. We can read one more um, ayat with you because you got cut off, and I was going to read another one with you. Okay. Okay. Because okay, I couldn't hear you very clearly the first time around. It's okay. We'll start from here. Okay. So we start with Dawood again. Start with Dawood. Can you hear me? Has he got a problem again? I think so. I think we need we need to move on. Okay. <clears throat> 
Seen. Okay, you can hear. Kazabat very very nice okay can you tell me what letter this is zal okay when we say this letter you need to put your tongue at the front underneath your top teeth and you need to say the letter zal zal Can you say that letter? Hello? A7410, can you hear me? The. The. Yes. The. Well done. Excellent. So this is val. We don't want to hear a buzzing sound. It's more like a TH sound. Okay? So, gather. Very good. Now repeat this whole verse once more. Good. Very nice. Excellent. How long did you recite this here for with the vakf? How long did you make this sound for? Two seconds. Two seconds. Excellent. Good. Well done. So I'm just highlighting this for everybody now. Even though we have this madha here, we only elongate for two seconds because we are pausing here. If we were going to continue on to the next verse here, then we would elongate for three to five seconds. But because we're making a pause, we're making a vakf, we only elongate for two seconds because of the alif madha. Okay, so that was really nice recitation. Jazakumullah A7410. Um, we know we were having a connection problem, but at least we got to hear your extra verse from you. Okay, if we can have another yeah, student, Allah. please. Allah Hafiz. Salam alaikum. And, and 8382. N8382. Yeah. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you today, N8382? I'm good. How are you? Alhamdulillah, I'm very well. We're going to do this verse again here. Okay, okay. we're going to start from here, but we'll start with Dawood first. A'uzu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Kazabat samudu bitagwaha Okay, once more. Now, <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, can you recite this letter for me, please? Kaza. 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 Good, well done. Kaza, but. Kaza, but. Good, well done. Now, what's this letter? Tha. Tha, good. Make sure that we make this nice th sound here. This is a softer sound here. Tha. Okay, once more. Yeah. Kaza, but, tha. Good. And from the beginning, the verse? Make sure you don't elongate. You're elongating a little bit. It's a single stroke. Okay? okay. Off you go. Good. Well done. Excellent. Now, how long are we going to say this for? Two seconds. Two seconds. And then this? Um, four seconds. Okay. So, like I just said with the previous student, this is going to be two seconds because we are doing a vakf here. We are doing a stop. We would only elongate this from three to five seconds if we were going to continue and recite the rest of the verse without making a stop. Otherwise, we are going to stop here. So we're going to just recite this for two seconds. Okay. And um, this was really good. You said this really, really nicely. Make sure you've got a nice round mouth here. Okay. Dog. Yeah. So we need to hear that thick sound here because it's one of our thick letters. And this is also one of our thick letters. So once more from here. How long is this one? Two seconds. Okay, so do it once more. Make sure this is two seconds. Good, much, much better, much, much better. Once more. Very nice, much better. Carry on from here. 
Izimba asa ashikaha. Okay, once more. Is the Izimba asa ashikaha. Okay, right. You did a really good thing there. You made sure here that you um you joined with the meme of Kluba, the miniature meme. That was really good because sometimes people forget and they join to the noon there. Okay. One thing that we need to remember is when we're joining to this meme, we use the dry part. That means the front part of your lips. So we'd say, e zim. And we use, just close the mouth onto the front part of our lips. Then in order to say the ba, we roll into the wet part, the inside of our mouth a little bit. E zim ba. E zim ba. Good, well done. And you're holding that. Okay, what's this letter? Tha. Tha. So you need to make sure you really say that clearly. That it, there shouldn't be a s sound there. It should be a s sound. Okay, once more. Okay, so you really just need to make sure that this dal sound is coming from your tongue touching your front two teeth, and this th sound, again, there shouldn't be a s sound here it should be sa okay so just focus on that keep practicing make sure that you're just getting your sounds correctly all right can I like that yes so go on do it again yes you can read it once more much much better but again you're still making the s sound here it needs to be a th sound Okay, make sure you elongate this qa for two seconds. You can read it once more. Let's try last time. Much better. Excellent. You really slowed it down. Each sound was really good there. I could hear that you were trying to make each individual sound really clearly. And that's what we need to do whenever we're doing our recitation. The more we do each sound clearly, the easier it will become as we become more fluent in our recitation. That was much, much better. Jazakum um, Mullah N8382. Very nice recitation. Okay, before we go, uh, before I give you another student, um, A73891 to ask a question. Okay. He's on mic now. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Gigi, you have a question? Yes. Um, so yesterday, I was in class. I was at Mosque. So, um, for the uh, young Muslim world, um, yeah. can I still apply for the Gilawad? Yeah, we are going to do. We are going to do an announcement at the end. But yes, we know, because we said that yesterday there was an announcement that the Yomi Muslim Art is going to be, inshallah, will be um, now next week. So, if anybody else wants to apply for the Gilawad or Nazim. Or um, there are going to be other things as well, but you need to put in an application um, and then um, our in charge will take a look at all the applications and I will give a little bit more detail about that at the end of the lesson. But yes, you will, you can still apply for that. Okay, Jazakumullah, thank you for your question. Okay, so if we could have another student, please. We can have A7409. A7409. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you? Good, alhamdulillah. How are you? I'm very well, alhamdulillah. Jazakumullah for asking. So we'll start with Tawud, Tasmiya, and then you will begin from here. Okay? A'udhu billahi mina shaytanir rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Good. That's from here. فَقَالَ لَهُمْ الرَّسُولُ اللَّهِ نَكَتَ اللَّهِ وَسُقْسُقَ يَحَا. 
very good effort and that was a night a really long verse and you tried to do it all in one breath that was really really good effort well done now we need to look at a few things but i want you to go through it again two things i'm going to say to you to just look out for make sure here you don't hold on the meme so it's humra humra here okay make sure your thick lam is sounding clear here and here okay so those are just two little pointers think about all the other things as well but just focus on those two things for this next time off you go <laughs> Very good effort, very good effort. Really nice kalkala here, really nice kalkala. Okay, so what we need to do, we're going to read through it once. You can just follow me through, okay? Faqala. Faqala. Good, and you said that really nice the first time around as well. Faqala lahum. Faqala lahum. Good. Faqala lahum rasulullahi. Faqala lahum rasulullahi. Good. Lullahi. Lullahi. Much better. Excellent. You need to round on your mouth here. Okay, this is our thick lam, our majestic lam. So when we're saying this, because there's a dhamma here, we need to make a thick sound. Lullahi. Lullahi. Very nice. Lullahi naqatullahi. Lullahi naqatullahi. Much better. Again, you made a really good thick sound there. And carry on to the rest. Wa suqiyaha. Wa suqiyaha. Very nice. And you did so well to get that all out in one breath without making a stop. So I'm really, really proud of you. That was really good. What I want you to do now is make sure you focus on, again, keeping this short here. Humra. You're not going to hold on the meme at all. You just make it nice and short. Humra. Sulullahi. Nice thick sound here. And again, over here. Dallahi. Okay, so let's start, try again from the beginning. Very good. That was really, really nice. And you did it all in one breath. That's not easy to do. Such a long line in one breath. Very, very well done. Good. Carry on from here. Oh, gosh, another really, really long line in one breath. Very good effort. Well done. Okay, so you did that all in one breath. That was a really good effort. What we're going to do this time is you're going to make a stop here. You're going to make a pause here. And I know there are lots and lots of little strokes and little signs in the Quran, Vakf pauses, and we will go through some of those. This one in particular, where you've got these three, we can stop or we can continue. But in order for everybody to make sure that not everybody's got such a big breath of, as our student at the moment, so we're going to make a pause here and take a breath and then we're going to continue. Okay, so off you go from here. <laughs> Very nice. Excellent. Gaza. Make sure you don't elongate that. Okay. Once more. Very good. Nice thick sound there. Well done. And from here. Very good. Again, that was a long line to do, so that was really good. Fadam dama. 
Make sure again you don't want to hold on the meme for too long. Once more. Very, very good effort. Very good effort. So here, because we have the meme and then the ba, so remember it's hum. We hold it down with the front part of our lips and then we roll into the inner part, the wet part of our lips to say the b. Hum b. Hum b. Good. So that's where we do hold on the meme. Okay. Hum be them be him. Hum be them be him. Very nice. Well done. Do that one line once more from here. Hadam dava alayhim rubbu hum be them be him. Very, very good effort. Excellent. Well done. Very, very nice. Okay. So let's just do this last line. Just a second. I've got something on my screen. Need to move out of the way. Um, this last ayat here. Very nice. Once more. Very nice. You elongated really well. Why you did this for two seconds because of the what's this? Alif. The alif. Good. Well done. The alif mother here. You elongated this for two seconds and a really nice qalqala sound here as well. That was really, really good recitation. Jazakumullah A7409. Really good. Make sure the one thing that I'm just going to say to you, because the recitation was really good, your breath was really good, you were trying to keep it going, making sure you didn't have to stop. So that's really, really good effort. Make sure you don't hold on your meme unless there is a bar next to it. So for example, here you needed to hold, here you needed to hold. Other than that, you need to keep your meme nice and short. Okay, meme sucking, I mean. Okay, really good. Well done. Jazakumullah, thank you so much for your help. Hello, Hafiz. Okay. Right, let me just clear this. We can have our next student, please. Okay, next student is going to be N8368. N8368. Assalamualaikum. Assalamualaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Alhamdulillah, I'm very well. Let me just, I'm just um, moving something out of my screen so that I can see everyone else. That's fine. Okay, so we're going to start with Dawood and Tasmiya, and then we're going to um, continue to read from the beginning. Okay. Okay. A'uzu billahi minash shaytadir rajim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Washamsi wazuhaha. Okay. What letter is this? Dod. Dod. Okay. Once more. Waduhaha. Much better. Now from the beginning. Washamsi waduhaha. Good. Well done. So this one, remember this ha comes from the throat. It's very close to the ha sound, but it's ha comes from the middle of your throat. Uh, this ha comes from lower down, from your chest. Okay? Ha. Ha, ha. Ha, ha. Much better. Good. So you can hear, you can feel the difference when you're making the sounds. Even if we can't hear it, you can feel it, and then we'll know that you're trying to make the different sounds. They're so similar, so it becomes very difficult sometimes to differentiate between the two. But it's just something we need to point out so that you notice that. Okay, once more from here. Washamsi waduhaha. Good, carry on. Walqamari wa idha talaha. Once more. Walqamari idha talaha. Very good. Wannahari idha jalaha. Once more. 
Iza jallaha. Good, carry on. Wallayli iza yakshaha. Good. What letter is this? Zal. Zal. Good. Zal. Okay. Sometimes when we're hearing you, there's a slight buzzing sound. So just make sure that that's a z sound. There shouldn't be a z sound in there. Okay. Once more here. Wallayli iza yakshaha. Good, very nice. Well, Very good, nice thick sound there. That was really good with your ta. Carry on. Okay, once more here. Make sure we hear this nasal sound here, okay? Good, very nice. You've made the differentiation between the two sounds. Just need to make sure this is elongated for two seconds. All right, once more. Good, much better. Carry on. Really nice calculator there. Well done. Last ayat. Once more. Very good effort. Make sure we don't elongate this ha. Okay, it's just the one second. Okay, once more, try that again. Very good. Very nice recitation, N8368. Very, very well done. So just keep this, the small things that I've mentioned, the just small things you just need to, you know, focus on those a little bit more and it will mm -hmm. really make the recitation so much more beautiful. Thal sound is one that I'm noticing a lot of students are still struggling with. So we really need to focus on that and correct that sound. Okay, because remember right at the beginning we said, if we're saying sounds which are not the correct sound, sometimes that changes the meaning of the words we are reading. So just really try to focus and make sure that it's the correct thal sound and there shouldn't be a buzzing sound there. Okay, thank well done. Jazakumullah, thank you so much for your help. Jazakumullah, I love this. Okay. We can have another student, please. We can have A7411. A7411. Assalamualaikum, Robin. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Alhamdulillah. Okay, we're going to start with Dawood and then we'll start from here. Let me just clear the screen so we don't get distracted with the other marks. And we're going to start from here. Okay. Okay. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وقد خ وقد خب من دساها. Okay, once with me. وقد خب من دساها. وَقَدْ خَابَ مَنْ دَسَّاهَا Good, carry on. كَذَّبَتْ سَمُودُ بِتَقْوَاهَا Very nice, excellent. You really tried to make that thick sound there. Once more. كَذَّبَتْ سَمُودُ بِتَقْوَاهَا Okay, good. Now, often this happens when we have um, a vowel madda here and we have the next letter also has a dhamma on it. We, try, we end up elongating both of them. So we really all need to be very conscious that mu is two seconds, but du is one second. Okay, so it would be samudu very good. Carry on. Okay, so we need to hold here on the Mimukluba. 
Good. Make sure we say tha here, and this is sheen here. So we need to differentiate between those two sounds. Good. Once more from here. These are all um, these are all soft sounds. We have to make the ayn sound, but it's still a thin sound. Okay, um, from here. Very good effort. Really nice thick, um, you had a thick lam sound here and a thick lam sound here. So that was really good. Okay, you try to make sure that you got it all in one breath. Really good effort for that as well. Very good effort. I could really see that you were trying to do that all in one breath. So that was a really good effort there. Okay. Again, that just takes work, right? It just takes a lot of work, a lot of practice, and then you're able to, to flow within one breath. Now, I want you to make a stop here, okay? I don't want you to try to read the whole ayat together. So start from here, make a stop there, breath, and then we'll continue. Okay. Well done. Make sure qa, make sure that's thick. Once more. It's not joining, so they have to be said separately. Carry on. Very good effort, very good effort. Make sure here we're holding on the meme here and here. Okay? With dry part of our lips, we join it. Hum. Hum. We hold it and then we roll into the inside of our lips and say B. Hum. B. Hum. B. And again, Zum. B. Him. Zum. B. Him. Good. If your mouth doesn't open in the middle, it just rolls in to say the butt sound. Okay, once more. Very good effort, very good effort. Just make sure that here again, you did it much better here. Zambi him. Here you also need to do it. Okay, very good effort. Focus on that and try to make sure that you, you know where to hold there. And carry on from here. Last diet here. Hello? A7411? Not there? I think he, he muted himself. Okay, never mind. Okay, so let me just recite that last line and then we'll have one student okay. and they're just going to follow me through. Okay. Okay, so maybe if we have um, the student we had at the beginning, it was A7362, that they did the dua at the beginning. We could have that student back. Okay. Is it A7362? 
A seven three six three six two. Yeah. Okay. A seven two six two. Assalamualaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Uh, you did the dua at the beginning. Is that correct? Yes. Yes. Okay. So we're going to have you um, reciting once for me. Yeah. And yes. Before I could recite, I have a question. Can yeah. Yes, quickly. Yeah. Um, you know about the Jalsa? Yeah. Um, I want to do a speech. Um, can you do it in any language um, or, do, or English? Um, we prefer it in English because there are some uh, students that um, may not know Urdu and because this is an English forum, we try to keep the speeches in English. But if you have something in Urdu that you want to submit, you submit it and then um, our in charge will get back to you and let you know about that. Okay. okay. Okay, so we're going to recite this through once. You're just going to follow me and I'll recite every line you recite after me. Okay. <laughs> Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Wa shamsi wa duhaha Wa shamsi wa duhaha Wa al-qamari idha talaha Wa al-qamari idha talaha Okay, make sure that you um, elongate and make sure that that's a nice um, two seconds there. Yes, okay, I got and you're confused because first they said ha ha. Then, yeah. Okay, that's okay. Try it once more. Good. Okay, remember this letter here? This is a dal. So we don't want to make a z sound there. It's either, either. Good, well done. So make sure that every time you hear the dal, you have to make a th, th sound, not a z sound. All right? Okay. Wasama iwa ma banaha. Wasama iwa ma banaha. Wala wa ma Yes, excuse me, miss. Um, yes. You know um, the line I did before, wasama. And yep. you know dhamma, is it because of the dhamma? Um, that's Which why we're doing it. Um, the ma. This is the madda here. Yeah, the madda, yes. um, that makes a very loud, um, five, three to five seconds, isn't it? Yeah, four to six seconds for this one. Four to six seconds for this one. Yeah, so wasama iwama bana. Wasama iwama bana. Very good, well done. Wal ardi wama tohaha. Wal ardi wama tohaha. Good. Make sure this is a thick sound here. Okay? Ta. Ta? Yes. Wa nafsin wa ma sawaha. Wa nafsin wa ma sawaha. Wa alhamaha fujuraha wa taqwaha. Okay, 
This is a alif here, so it's al. Fa al, yeah. Fa al hamaha fujuraha wa taqwa. Fa al hamaha fujuraha wa taqwa. Qad aflaha manzak. قد أل قد أفلها ونقاها زكاها. Nice and thin. Well done, Meta. زكاها زكاها وقد خاب من دساها. وقد غاب موت الساهة كذبت ثمود بطغواها كذبت ثمود بطغواها Okay, make sure we don't elongate this, okay? كذبت ثمود بتقواها كذبت ثمود بتقواها إذ انبعث عشقاها إذن Is it supposed to إذن because of that sound? Mim it's the meme there. Meme yeah, because that's what is. Yeah. فَقَالَ لَهُمْ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ نَاقَدَ اللَّهِ وَسُقْيَاهَا فَقَالَ لَهُمْ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ نَاقَتَ اللَّهِ وَسُقْيَاهَا Very good effort. Excellent. Really try to do that in one breath. Make sure you have your qalqala sound here. Okay? سُقْيَاهَا I tried to do it in one breath. breath. Yeah, I know. It's, it's hard to do it in but, one breath, but that's the, the effort that you made. I could see that you were trying to do it together. Oh, sorry. One second. Something is coming in front of my screen. فَدَمْدَمَ عَلَيْهِمْ رَبُّهُمْ بِذَنْبِهِمْ فَسَوَّاهَا فَدَمْدَمَ عَلَيْهِمْ رَبُّهُمْ بِذَنْبِهِمْ وَسَوَاهَا وَلَا يَخَافُ أُقْبَاهَا وَلَا يَخَافُ أُقْبَاهَا Very good effort, very good effort, yes. Um, you know that sign over here, like, over here? No, uh, and on... Tell me on which letter. Last, last. Ha... This one? No, up. Here? No, over here. Um, over here doesn't help me. You need to tell me which letter. Um, like, the end. Yeah. Yeah. At the end of that verse, you did um this. What does that um symbol mean? These three things here. Is this what you're talking about? Mystery. Yeah? Basically, here we can either make a stop, we can do a vakf, or we can continue. And we'll go into more detail about what these strokes mean and what these symbols mean. We'll look at some of them in more detail afterwards. But all you need to know at the moment is that you can make a vakf here, or you could continue in one breath to do the whole verse. But we made a stop. 
Okay. Jazakum Allah. Thank you so much for your help. I'm very sorry. The lesson's gone a little bit over today. I'm just going to quickly um, let you all know your homework, which is to practice um, a shams, which is what our surah today, all the rules that we've applied. Really good recitation from all of you today. I'm really proud of all of your, all of your hard work. Very well done. Quick announcement about the um, Jalsa uh, Yomi Musi Muslim Maud, which was going to be today, but unforeseen circumstances means that it's now next week. If any of you want to um, be considered for Dalavat or Nazm, please do um, put in your entries as soon as possible so that we can make a choice and um, the person that wants to do it can be informed about what they will be doing on the day. Okay, we're going to have our final prayer. And then we will end today's lesson. Excuse me, miss. Yes. I'm still on um, on YouTube. It's fine. Yeah. If you just, if you carry on with the prayer, because we're already over time now. So, Dawood, Tasmiya, and then we'll begin the prayer. A'udhu billahi minash shayyatanir rajeem. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Allahumma arhamni Bilquran al-Azim Waj'al hulima wa nuran wa hudan wa rahmah Oh Allah have mercy on me through the great Quran and make it for me the leader, the light, the guidance, and the mercy. Jazakumullah, and thank you to everybody for today's lesson. Again, apologies for ending late, and inshallah, we will see you all again soon tomorrow. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.